Welcome back to Horizon Line instructional video. Remember to make a note of our website address where you can come at any time to view this and other videos as well as to ask questions via our live support messaging or email. In part one of this video we showed you how to obtain the LAN IP address and the web port. Please refer to part 1 if you do not remember how to obtain this information as shown in this screenshot. Open your web browser, Internet Explorer, and in the address box, type in the LAN IP number, followed by a colon, and the web port number. In our case this is 192.168.1.225 8086. This will take you to the DVR login page. Here we type in the username that we registered earlier, which was the default admin in lowercase, and we didn't set a password, so we click and green arrow to continue. This takes us to view the DVR where we can see the four cameras if they are connected and the images coming from those cameras. This takes us to the view DVR page where you can see a live view of the connected cameras. In our case we have two connectors cameras on channel 1 and channel 4 where you can see the live images as shown in this display. Now we need to click on configure at the top of the screen and that will take us to an information system page where we can see the serial number of our device. Please double click on the serial number in our case D140 here and then right click your mouse and select copy. Open a new tab in your browser and go to the website www.relink Dot net that is r e e l i n k dot net and press enter this will take us to the login page on relink in the senior user column on the right side you will see the word register please click on register in order to register an account having an account will enable you to remote view and control your dvr select something for username in our case, we're going to choose Horizon Line SG1. Please choose your own username. Select a password and type it also in the Confirm Password box. Finally, you must enter a valid email address. In case you lose your login information, it can be resent to you please make sure this is a valid email address. These four boxes are all you need to complete as well as to tick the box user registration agreement. Now click the register button. It says success and now you must press OK. This takes us back to the login page. Here, put in the username which you just registered a moment ago, in our case Horizon Line SG1. Also enter the password that you used when you registered. Click the login button. This takes us to a page where we will add our device to the server so that it can be remotely monitored. Please click on the Add button as shown here. In the Device Name box, please, paste, uh, please write a device name. This could be Camera 1 or in our case, case HO1. Right click in the Serial Number box and select Paste so that the serial number that we copied earlier will be pasted here. In the device user box, put in the password that we used earlier, which was admin in lowercase. As we didn't choose a password, 
we leave that blank and press save. Please do not be confused by the username and password. This is not the username and password for remote viewing that we just set up a short while ago, but the username and password for the DVR itself, as shown in part one of this video. In our case, that was admin in lowercase, and the password was blank. Please, please press save. Now you will see the device listed in the top central section of the page, showing the device name that we chose, H01, the serial number, the LAN address, IP address 192.168.1.225, though it may be different in your case, and the WAN address, the web port and the media port. Now we are going to the top left corner of the screen where it says video browsing. We will click there and now we must right click on our device name in our case H01 and left click on video browsing. If you can see the images from your cameras this means that you have correctly set up in order to be able to view your cameras from outside your office on the World Wide Web. Congratulations, you are now set up to be able to view your security cameras from any location using a web browser. We will now show you how to do this. First, open a web browser. In the address bar, type www.relink.net and press enter on your keyboard. In the senior user column, type in your username that you registered for Relink earlier. In our example, it was Horizon Line SG1, along with the password that you registered for Relink. Click Login. On the top left of the screen, click Video Browsing. Right click on your device and select Video Browsing. This shows you a live view of the cameras connected to your DVR. It really is that simple to log in remotely and view your security for peace of mind at any time. Remember you can always visit us at www.horizonline.com.sg, our website, where in the bottom right hand corner you will either be able to leave a message or contact live support during office hours.